Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Tonight on the menu, we are having one of my specialties, soup and sandwich. And I have not had a clubhouse sandwich in a while, so I decided to make that tonight to eat with you guys. And I have not had this broccoli cheddar. Nope, there's not even cheddar in this. This is just broccoli soup. It is the canned Tim Hortons one. So Canadians, you might know the flavoring of what I'm talking about here. I don't even think I've ever had it from Tim's, um, but the cans were on sale and I was like, hey, I like broccoli soup. So I did sprinkle a little bit of cheese on the top, but probably not enough to like, you know, make it cheesy. So I do want to try this because it just came off the stove, so it's still pretty hot. But look at the sandwich, guys. Look at it. Look. It's beautiful. I'm really excited to eat it. Like the one piece of cheese that's in there just slaps me in the chin. Tell me what, if you guys have had this, let me know what you think. Already my first bite, I'm like, mm, I prefer the other one that I have. But it's still good though, like I'm gonna eat it. Um, and I have some pickles too, which I already ate one on the way up here. Okay. I just feel like that's still on my chin. So excuse the food if it's on my chin. I need to take a bite of this. But first, show and tell. Hello. Um, I use white bread. There's three pieces. I have turkey. Let's see if I can do this. Turkey, tomato, cheese, middle piece of bread, which is coated in mayonnaise because it has to be. And then the top half is ham, bacon, and lettuce. Okay. Mm and it's shredded lettuce because they didn't have a head of lettuce, which was kind of annoying, but that's okay. Oh my lanta. So good. Oh my god, that's so good. I really wanted a sandwich today too, so like this is... I'm in a good mood now. <laughs> I've been in kind of a foul mood all day. Not that you'd probably really be able to tell. I'm good at keeping that stuff to myself. <laughs> anyway, so I just wanted to have a good meal. to end my weekend, because it's actually Sunday. You guys are probably seeing this on Thursday, but it's Sunday. So I'm just trying to, you know, like finish my day off in a relaxing manner. Oh, I also will be dipping a piece of my sandwich into the soup because not that I've gotten flack for it, but someone was like, you know, I haven't seen dip. <laughs> Who was that? Mike, was it you? I'll dip my sandwich in my soup, which I never do. I'm like so excited my shoulders are like <laughs> super high. Mm. I'm like drooling. Food is falling out of my mouth. It's that good, guys. Oh my gosh, you guys are so good. What? I Because I do, I frequently do, I feel like I um, eat a lot of BLTs and like obviously broccoli cheddar soup, but um, like what combination do you guys eat and like what should I try? Because I know like obviously grilled cheese and tomato soup is a big one for a lot of people. To be quite honest, it's not like my favorite. I'll eat it, don't get me wrong. But the ratio of cheese to bread in that sandwich better be more cheese. You know what I mean? Ooh. All right. 
Don't fall apart on me now. You're too good. Okay, let's dip it. Let's dip it. Also, I cut it in a triangle, which I don't normally do either. I don't know what was in, like, I didn't plan to cut it triangular, my sandwich, that is. All right, it's dipped. And there was no flavor change. <laughs> mm. When I go out to restaurants, I'm not a picky eater, but I'm particular on how food is prepared. Like if they don't make it like the same way that I would, I'm like, mm, I don't really know about that. But there's two things I feel like restaurants can't, I don't want to say can't mess up, but like if they have a clubhouse on the menu, chances are I'm ordering it. And or if they have like a chicken Caesar salad. I just really like sandwiches. You guys know this. I literally put like a little sprinkle of cheese on top and I feel like it's not like this is like I don't know I just sucked it in and it's it's working all right I hate it prefer a cloth okay this soup is really not that bad I might have to just try it like from Tim Hortons though at some point so today um, you guys may have already seen it if you watch my vlog channel um, Nathan and I were hanging out for a little bit and then we went shopping. We rarely see each other on the weekends, which I know. So like some of you guys be like, why do you guys like hang out all the time? Not on the weekends. He and I usually like just see each other like after work during the week. So anyways, he'd called me this morning. I think he just sort of realized, like, not realized, I think he wanted to hang out with me anyways, but kind of was like, oh, you're in a funk? Like, let's go out. Like, let's go get hot chocolate. Let's do, like, Christmassy things. Like, let's just do something. So, he came and picked me up. We were going to go to Starbucks. Unfortunately, the Starbucks line was ridiculous, I feel like, as it always is. Um, and we're just not those people that like wait in line for that long. Plus we, neither of us have like, have ever really been to Starbucks. So we were like, we have no idea what to order. We were just going to like order like holiday drinks or something. Cause I had gift cards and there was probably like, I don't know, a ridiculous amount of cars in the drive through and then he's like, oh, we'll just go in. There was like more people inside. So we were like, oh, uh, never mind. So we just went across the street. We actually went to Tim Hortons. There was more cars in the drive through there. But like, I don't wanna say like, if you're smart, you just get out and go in. But we were the only people in line when we walked in. So like the person that was like ahead of us was still like sitting in the same spot and we were walking out with our drinks. Excuse me. So anyways, that was kind of nice. I forget kind of where I was going with that. But yeah, Nathan and I hung out today for a little bit. <laughs> Gosh, this thing is beautiful. Look at it. I know you can 
can see it. I'm sorry. Oh my word. Nope. Huh? I got actually. I don't have a big mouth. I have a loud mouth. <laughs> Is like stretching my face to get. Anyways, so yeah, so I, like back to what I was saying. Let me know what combination of food, of soup and sandwich I should have. I know a couple people have suggested trying a Reuben. Never had it. I wouldn't even know. How, I'd have to look up, look it up, like how to make it or what bread it is and all that kind of stuff. Tiny pop, no straw. I don't even have a straw over there. I need like tiny straws for these tiny cans. <laughs> I'm very content now. So on a rough day today. Nothing really in particular, just I don't know. Just not feeling it. Nathan and I were at Walmart and then my mom and my niece showed up. She was like, Where are you? And I'm like shopping because she doesn't live here. So she came in into Walmart and chatted with Nathan and I for a few minutes. And and then Scott and Jacob actually showed up because they had gone to the public skate. And we have a tradition every year where we buy Christmas ornaments. We each pick out an ornament that we like. doesn't matter what it looks like. doesn't matter like, it just doesn't matter. You pick out an ornament that you like. And we decorate our tree. So Scott and Jacob hadn't done theirs because I, I had seen the one that I picked out a few weeks ago. Sorry, suddenly my breathing is not good. Um, so I picked out mine a few weeks ago. So they just, I don't know, decided to come in. And I was like, oh, good, because I do want to decorate the tree at some point in the future. Mine. Oh, my gosh. My ornament this year is the... Mm, it'll definitely be on my other channel, not to like push you guys over there, but it's the Little Mermaid. Like, it's like this big. Uh, but it's the Little Mermaid VHS tape box. Like, the, do you know what I'm saying? And like inside, it's like half cracked open and inside of it is like a fake VHS. It's so cute. It's the whole like movie, like the cover front and back. I love the Little Mermaid. Of the Little Mermaid. One of my favorite Disney songs is Kiss the Girl. Mm. Have you guys heard like the um, TikTok version that guy went like viral with it and now it's like one of like the number one like wedding song? <laughs> I really like it. I like his version too. So yeah, so that's my ornament for this year. I think I have three aerial ornaments now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my gosh, this is like, this is a heavy sandwich. Ooh. We're going in again. There's not much soup in the bottom of that bowl. Oh 
Oh my gosh, you guys, so good. Better than sex, that sandwich. Just kidding. <laughs> I bought a dryer pickles today while I was out. Oh, that was really sour. Because I haven't had them. In, like, I eat pickles all the time. So the fact that I haven't had one in a while is like, I was like, I need, I need pickles in my life. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. You said Fred was stabbing the back of my throat. I was like, oh, I'm joking now. This is when I die. <laughs> I'm okay. I do have to admit that I'm, and I like never do, and I just sort of like, I'm eating this now, and I'm like, oh, that's irritating. Why would you do that to yourself, Laura? But. I used like that pre-made bacon, you know, you can get it like in a box and you just like have to heat it up. It's really not terrible, but it's not like freshly cooked bacon, you know what I mean? So I hate that I can kind of taste that, but honestly, this is a really good sandwich. My shirt thinks so too, <laughs> since half of it's on there. absolutely delightful i thoroughly enjoyed this and thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight for my clubhouse sandwich and broccoli soup I, two things i mean i haven't had this one and i haven't had a clubhouse in a while and it was delightful so thank you for hanging out with me i am going to finish my laundry and get myself ready for the week maybe prep some food or something for my lunches. Anyways, thank you guys for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye.